one of the great things about working with the brewing industry is actually every now and then you can have a bit of fun. Um, it should be fun. It's a, it's a lovely product, and um, you know, it's hard work, but uh, it, it should be fun. And that, that, that we can obviously have our main beers that we brew, but every now and then we do something a little bit different. So this is um, been brewed for a bit of fun. It's Proper Jobs Big Brother, and we've called it Big Job. So it's a double IPA. Wow. Lots of interest, you know, you're seeing in the brewing industry, um, you know, people are sort of hopping things up, you're getting more intense flavours, we're seeing the sort of the craft beer revolution going, going on. And this is really to prove that we may be a 106 year old family brewer, but actually we can still have fun and we can still brew big beers that pack out the flavours and, uh, you know, really sort of uh, push the boundaries of brewing, really. So it's a big job. Give it, a, give it a taste, or let's give it a sniff first. Tell me what hops are in this one. I'm giving well, it a sniff. Got, uh, it's, it's all American varieties, but we've got some really punchy flavours in there. We've got um, the main bittering variety is a variety called Nugget, uh, and then we've got three aroma varieties: uh, Centennial, Citra, which is a really big fuzzy hop at the moment. That's the one everyone's talking about. So uh, Citra is the one that really packs in the flavour, and uh, we've got good old faithful Cascade. Now, Cascade is, for me, still one of those great hops. It's almost, I think, become the Chardonnay of the beer world. You remember 10 years ago, everyone drank Chardonnay yeah. wine. These days, it's so unfashionable. When you say to any brewers, oh, I'm using Cascade, they say, oh, that's so last year. You know, you need to be using Citra or uh, Simcoe or whatever the new buzzy hop varieties might be. But Cascade actually still has fantastic flavours. And balanced in with a range of other hops, it really does work. I think that it's... Um it's, we don't always think about hot names in wine drinking people you know the names of the wines are often the names of the grapes um, but I think you know with names like Nugget and, and Citra and Cascade and, and little stories of the fashion hops of the well, moment yeah a lot, of, a lot of these names actually come from the, the provenance and where, where the hops have come from so if you look at um, the hop variety like Cascade it's named after the Cascade mountain range in the northwest of America uh, a great favourite of ours that we use in our tribute beer Willamette named after the Willamette River that runs south through Oregon from the, uh, from the Columbia River. Or if you look at English hops, you know, good old Goldings, Mr. Goldings, 1820, whenever it was, when he first grew it in his hop garden in Kent. So there's a story behind all of these hop varieties. And, you know, the, the names actually tell you a little bit of where they come from and the history, which is great. So it's a history lesson, it's a geography lesson, and, and this, one hell of a big yeah. beer, one hell I'm, of a big I'm, job. I'm not sure big job is a history lesson. It may be a, <laughs> may be a vision of the future, I don't know, but it's, uh, it's a big beer, it's a big job, it's, uh, it's great fun. It's very tasty indeed.